As the Donald Trump presidency loomed ever closer on election night last year, the UAE ambassador to Washington wrote an email to a senior Middle East advisor to President Obama. The advisor had jokingly suggested he might want to emigrate to the United Arab Emirates. Yusuf al Ataiba replied, this isn't funny. How? Why is this happening? On what planet can Trump be a president? Earlier in the evening, the ambassador asked the same Obama advisor, Robert Malley, about the election results. Do you guys receive advanced info from the polls, asked Ataiba. Wouldn't you like to know, responded Malley. Ataiba used Trump as a figurative device when responding to an email from the right-wing U.S. commentator Judith Miller. The seven minutes I spent reading this was the equivalent of watching seven minutes of Donald Trump. A waste of my time, he wrote. The emails reveal the ambassador was close to Susan Rice, President Obama's national security advisor. In one, she criticizes Joe Biden after the ambassador notifies her of one of the vice president's speeches on the connection between the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and violent extremism. Our allies in the region were our largest problem in Syria. Whoever leaked these emails says the intent is to expose the, quote, two-faced, end quote, nature of Emirati foreign policy and denies any link with Qatar, currently the object of sanctions by the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and other nations. Over the weekend, other leaked emails showed the ambassador cooperating closely with pro-Israel think tanks in attempting to discredit Qatar. It certainly shows a high level of UAE skepticism over Qatar, and it shows where in public UAE officials will say their prime focus is Iran or the Muslim Brotherhood, etc. It seems their prime focus in these messages has been about their neighboring state, Qatar. So it shows a lot about their influence, their access, and the kind of agenda they're pushing. Now the focus will be on whether this latest dump of emails affects the UAE's relationship with President Trump, who's not a man who's taken criticism lightly in the past. Shia Britansi, Al Jazeera, Washington.